Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today I want to talk about why Apex Legends is beating Warzone right now. Battle Royals have been the king for a long time. When it comes to player base, viewers on Twitch and YouTube and general gaming popularity, BR games have been at the top for quite a while now. They are a relatively newer genre of games and the battle to win a Battle Royale game is just that much more exciting than a standard arena shooter. That level of excitement has been the force that has propelled Battle Royale games to the top. It all started with PUBG, which saw one of the biggest rises in player base for a long, long time, and then came along Fortnite. And whether you like it or not, it has become the game to represent games to those that don't really even know what gaming is. Since the success of Fortnite and PUBG, there have been countless battle royales pushed out by dev companies big and small, but none really took off as much as Apex Legends and Warzone did. Apex Legends had a huge start back in early 2019 thanks to its sudden surprise reveal, and it quickly became the most played game for a good few weeks, but the trouble was Apex wasn't ready for the sudden success. They hadn't planned a good enough content roadmap, and it really took until Season 3 and 4 before they figured things out and content really started to pick up again. Trouble is, it took Respawn too long to figure things out with Apex Legends, and for the majority of those initial players, the game became stale, and they moved on to other things. Whilst Apex Legends was still incredibly popular, it didn't quite live up to its original meteoric success. They pushed out some decent updates, but they just weren't as quick as pushing out content as their competitors were. Their goal was to keep the devs happy and mentally healthy instead of pushing them to breaking point to pump out more content and whilst they were hiring as fast as they could, their team just wasn't big enough yet or as experienced with live service games to carry the weight of that huge initial launch. And then came along Warzone. And well, with Call of Duty already being a meteoric franchise, it really did make a lot of sense why it exploded into popularity and immediately became a hit, both in terms of player base and popularity on Twitch and YouTube. Warzone saw a very similar huge spike in player base, but the story of how things went after the launch period was very different between both games. Interestingly, both Apex and Warzone saw 50 million players play their game just a month after their launch, but Warzone hit 100 million players 13 months after launch. Apex, on the other hand, took 26 months to reach 100 million. That's twice as long. So why did this happen? Warzone's launch was filled with far more content, they didn't have as big of a shaky start, and they had obviously seen what happens to successful live service games when they don't get their content planned out perfectly. Perhaps Warzone learned from Apex's failures, and ever since Warzone's big launch, it surpassed players, it overtook Apex on Twitch, and it outgrew Apex Legends in almost every way. To really bring home the popularity Warzone had, in 2020, Warzone was the 6th most watched game on Twitch, with 811 million hours of watch time. Apex was at number 13, at 320 million hours, less than half that of Warzone. But things are changing. For the first time ever since Warzone's launch, this month, Apex Legends has had more watch time than Warzone. There are two big reasons why. Of course, the first one is that a lot of big Warzone streamers have taken a break from Warzone and have started to play Apex. This has definitely helped to create a big wave of new streamers switching over to try the game again, so at least from a Twitch standpoint, this can explain most of Apex Legends' success. But I think there's a good reason why Apex Legends has captivated these new streamers and has quietly built its player base over time. To me, Apex Legends has so much more to offer when it comes to improving yourself as a player. From weapon mechanics to movement to general positioning and team play, Apex Legends is a game you can really, really get sucked into. If the success of CSGO and Valorant are anything to go by, then we know that competitive environments are incredibly popular places, even for casual gamers that can't get as many hours in. Warzone lacks that. I think the rank system Apex has in Battle Royale really facilitates the excitement for many players. They actively want to improve and get better at the game, and that really does come down to how great Apex Legends is overall as a game. To me, content may bring in new players, but it's the core gameplay that will keep players sticking around. Apex content schedule still doesn't quite match Warzone and Fortnite, but the core gameplay really is something special. The lack of content in Apex's case may mean there'll be less new players coming in each month, but I have a strong feeling those players that do come in are more likely to stick by.
With that being said, I wanted to jump into another ranked game that I think perfectly captivated my thoughts here. Just the overall content isn't so important, you know, when you're really into a game, all that matters is the core gameplay experience. Let's jump into it. Nice. Right, get out of here. My time to loot, dude. Get out of my... Get out of my space. Oh. Well, that... Say goodbye to your friend, pal. Not gonna go help your buddy? Just left. They left us. Left the friend. Not even coming back. Not even coming back, dude. Can you believe that? Oh, they are coming back. Look at that. It's right here, boy. That's it. We got the perfect flank. Yeah. The little angle we got going on there, huh? I'll take that. They dipped, bro. They dipped. Oh, yeah. We're chilling. He's right there. Oh dear. Am I in the fire? Look that here, dude. He's running. Running for their life. Go, 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 go. Scared about any rockets? Not scared of any rockets, dude. I'm scared, dude. Woo! Now let's just charge this up. They are running for their life. Ah, oh, nice try, my friend. Anyone else trying to zip away? Where's your friend? Hands of our nine ammo. I think we take it, too. Let's do it, man. One. Ow! Someone coming for a res. Go, 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 go. That'd be it. Oh no, bro. I'll get you. Alright, but I gotta deal with that guy real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Recharging My people fight back against the Fire on the enemy. Giving my shield recharge. 
bit of scary, not gonna lie. I'll start by doing this out in the open like that. Good job, the res. Let's loot up. Let's loot up. Need more ammo. Okay, dude. Have ammo? Yes. I'm looking for a thermite grenade, fam. Did you just say fam? I'm looking for a thermite grenade, fam. So like, you want some fam, or like, fam is in family. Nice, thanks for the scan, bro. Enemy down. Oh, there's someone down here. Maybe a bunch of people coming from behind as well. I'm more interested in to be Look at all the heat shields, dude. Laris. Oh, he's climbing up to the roof, dude. Oh. He's got randomly charged rifled from somewhere, like, all the way over there, dude. No, 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 no. Oh here! Ah! Aren't you? There's indeed one child rifle boy. The res is happening, but we're gonna be fine. Oh, dude. I got you, friend. Random charge rifle man just like tickling me from a distance. What are we looking at here, dude? Right here, okay. Going for the cheeky res. Oh, where'd they go? Ah. Uh. Not a charge rifle boy, bro. Recharging shields. Enemy spotted. They are far. Ow. Unveil yourself. Contact with enemy here. I am taking Leave me alone, smelly charge rifle boy. Go, that's not hard, right?
Oh, he's having trouble, dude. Oh, we just killed nobody, bro. You get up here. Oh, really? Running into another squad. We gotta just push them because if they're gonna run into another squad, we gotta sandwich them. A little bit dangerous for us. We should go this way. Come on. There are our backs. Okay. How much? Happened to you, dude? This one is cooked. You have more to do here, Bloodhound. Only two enemy squads left. We got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. Got to be in a bit of a pickle. Just saying. Just saying. I see the push. I see it. That's two. More enemies down. And that's three. Nice. Yeah. GG, friends. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. Let me know your opinion on the whole Warzone versus Apex debate below. And I'll see you there. Cheerio.